Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is GCT Tutors. Today, I am going to walk through some IGCX physics past question, and I hope this video will help you at the end of the day. But I will not waste much of time. Let's start. I have question one. Okay, this question refers to quantities and data shown on the circuit diagram of figure 9.1. Alright. State the relationship between remember figure one, the current I1, I2, and I3. The current I1 and I4. Okay, let's go back to the diagram so that we can have a better view of everything. Now, the first thing that we have to note here is what kind of circuit is this? Is it a parallel circuit or is it a series circuit? So obvious that this circuit comprises of both series and parallel. I, you can see the two resistors here, resistors, this resistor 3 ohms and resistor 2 ohms, they are both connected in parallel. And the resultant or equivalent resistor of these two is in series with this, this other resistor R. So now we are to state the relationship that, that, that's between the current I1, I2, and I3. Now, we all know that conventional current flows from the positive terminal. This is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. The flow of conventional current is from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal. So the current is flowing in this direction, current I. So now, as this current I, which is I1, when it gets to this junction here, it's split into two. We have two we have two branches there. So I2 passes through one of the branches. You can see in this diagram, this is I2 passing through this branch. And we have I3 passing through the other branch. Okay, when it gets to this junction Y, I have I2 present here and also i3 here yeah. so the two also merge to form i4 and you can see that continues throughout the circuit so that has also have continuous flow of electric current or charges around that circuit so the the what we are using is the sum of current that is flowing in in the branches of a parallel circuit equals the current entering the same what branch okay now if you look at it i have in this branch i have i2 and i3 flowing the rule is that the current flowing in the branches must equals to the what the current entry that same what branch so i1 is entering this branch here at junction x it must equals to the current flowing through that branch. So I1 equals I2 plus I3. Once again, I1 is entering at junction X. This I1 that is splitted into I2 and I3. So obviously I1 equals I2 plus I3. I think that's that's clear. Okay, I think that's clear. The second, the second question, we have to find the relationship between I1 and I3. Now, you can see that I1 and I4, they are both in series connection. You can see we have series connection between them. So obviously, if I put an ammeter in any part of this connection here yeah, we're going to have the same reading if i put an ammeter here an ammeter to read the current that's passing through this resistor at this point here yeah, 
and I also put an ammeter in this place, you will see that we're going to have the same reading because why in any series connection the current is the same across the electric component so i1 must be equal to i4 because current flowing in series circuit is the same okay i think that's that that with that we can continue with our question okay we have question two the ammeter reads 0 0.8 amps assume it has zero resistance calculate the potential difference across x and y okay we're told that this ammeter here reads 0 0.80 amps so we are to we have to calculate the potential difference between x and y okay remember i just told us earlier on that resistors 3 ohms and 2 ohms they are connected in parallel i said it earlier on and there's this thing that we must remember in parallel connection the voltage the potential difference across all electric components connected in parallel is the same I say that again, the potential difference across all, all, all the electric component connected in parallel is the same, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. So if the potential difference is the same, that means if I can get the potential difference along, along these resistors, 3 ohms, it is also the same thing as the potential difference across these resistors 2 ohms also okay that's clear so we can now use that to calculate what we are looking for so from ohm's law voltage equals current times resistance so the potential difference which is the voltage must equals to the current that we are given which is 0 0.80 multiply by the the resistor sorry multiply by the resistance of that resistor 3 ohms which is 3 and obviously 0 0.80 times 3 gives us 2.4 volts so the potential difference between x and y x 2.4 volt why because the resistors, these two resistors, the resistors 3 ohms here and this resistor 2 ohms, they are both connected in parallel. And because they are connected in parallel, the potential difference across all electric components that are connected in parallel is the same. Why they have different current flowing through there. You can see the current flowing through this is I3 and the current flowing through the other one is I2. The current is, is different. But the potential difference is the same okay now i want to clean this i want to clean this so that i can i can have enough enough annotation for the other questions okay let me clean this sorry for that okay so we'll move on to the next question we have to calculate the current i theory the current i theory okay we are looking for Dick's current okay current i theory now remember we we said that the potential difference must be the same for both the two resistors so if this is 2.4 volt here yeah, this one also draws the same voltage 2.4 volt so now that we we know we have the two quantities we have the voltage we have voltage and we have the resistance so i can calculate the current okay so we know that from ohm's law we know that voltage equals to current times resistor time resistance so we have the current i theory must equals to the voltage across it divided by its resistance and that voltage is a potential difference across x and y because they are both connected in parallel 
which is 2.4 volt divided by 2 ohms and that is 1.2 amperes that's the unit of current and the last but not the least the resistance of r the resistance of r okay now remember that r and these two other resistors they are connected in series note that now the three ohms resistor and the two ohm resistor they are in parallel so if i try to get their equivalent resistance it will be in series with these other resistors okay so what i can do we know that in in series connection if i have something like this let's say i have a simple a simple circuit that looks like this let us assume that comprise of two two bulbs now if this is the total voltage which is coming from the cell okay now this lamp l1 and l2 they are going to share this voltage so this one we have its own voltage across it which is v1 the other lamp also we have its own voltage which is v2 so for here we know that the the total voltage will now be equals to the voltage across l1 and l2 which is v1 plus v2 this is also synonymous to this if i look at the two resistors 3 ohms and 2 ohms their own voltage is 2.4 volt we can see it the voltage across them is 2.4 volt now remember the total voltage that is driving the what the charge around the circuit is 6 volt that's the okay now these two resistors they have they have they have somehow drawn 2.4 volt so it means that the remaining voltage will be drawn by this by this electric component i don't know maybe what i'm saying is clear what i'm trying to say is that the 6 volt which is the total voltage is being split into two now these two electric components the two resistors they've drawn 2.4 4 volt 2.4 volt so it means that the remaining voltage will be drawn by these other electric components so that we can have what we call conservation of charges because according to the conservation law of charges charges can either be created or destroyed so it means that the total what voltage then that we have for the whole world circuit must be equal to what the the individual or voltage across all the electric or component so if i subtract 2.4 from 6 volt you see that we are going to have 3.6 volt so that tells us that what the voltage that this electric component r is drawing from the source is 3.6 volt i think that is very clear very clear because 3.6 plus 2.4 will give us 6.0 volt okay so having said that it means that the voltage across this this component r is 3.6 volt and remember that we are looking for its resistance we don't know it but we need to know its current current i we must know its current i that one is very easy to find do not forget that we have calculated the current across i2 and i3 in the previous question okay remember that from our 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 what's it called our relationship in the first question we said i1 equals i4 so 
the current that is flowing through these electric components are that current is the same thing as I1, which is I4. And I1 equals I2 plus I3. So we can get the current IR. So the current IR must equals to I2 plus I3. That is the current flowing through the two resistors, 3 ohms and 2 ohms, which equals 1. 1.2 amps plus 0.8 amps okay though supposed to be we are supposed to have the first one you can see okay all right i think i'm i'm, I'm still on the right track if i hide the two together we have what 2.0 amps so now we have the current across that electric component we cannot find its resistance. So from Ohm's law, resistance equals voltage divided by current, which is equals its own voltage is 3.6 volt divided by the current now, which is 2.0 amps or amperes. If I divide that, that will give us 1.8 ohms. Okay. And that's the end of this question. Okay, before we go, let me just say this so that we have a better understanding. Now, what you just need to note here is, number one, the first thing is, if I have a series connection, the current that is flowing through all the electric components, series connection is the same why the potential different the voltage is different for parallel connection for parallel connection reverse is the case you have same voltage across all the electric component connected in parallel but they have different current so we use that to solve this i know that resistors 3 ohms and 2 ohms they are they are connected in parallel they are connected in parallel so they must have the same voltage across it so we got that voltage to be 2.4 volt and because this electric component r is in series with these two other resistors so if these two resistors they are drawing 2.4 volt from the 6 volts that is coming from the power source automatically this electric component r is going to draw the remaining voltage to complement the 6 volt which is 3.6 volt but uh, with that we have come to the end of this first part of my video on electric circuit i hope this app please if you know, if this has helped you please subscribe to my youtube channel so that we can have more of this in some screen time. God bless you. Bye.